today i have a very special episode for you all because i'm going to teach you how to read any roman numeral very easily let's start let's start with the basic symbols i is equal to 1 v is equal to 5 x is equal to 10 l is equal to 50 C is equal to 100, D is equal to 500, and M is equal to 1000. It is good to memorize this. Let's begin with simple numbers. From the table now, I is equal to 1, so you can keep that as 1. Now, what is two I's? Write the number below, 1 and 1. One plus one is equal to two. Similarly, because three eyes are same, add one plus one plus one, which is equal to three. Let's skip four. Now, from the table, you know V is five. Now, what is V I? Simple. Write the numbers first below. Then, when the numbers are in descending order, then you add it. Five plus one is equal to six. Similarly, with seven and eight, add five plus one plus one, which is equal to seven. And for eight, five plus one plus one plus one is equal to eight. Now let's skip nine. From the table, you know x is equal to ten. Now four and nine are very interesting. I'll tell you why. Four is written as I V. So first write the numbers below one and five. Then after that, when you see it in ascending order, subtract five minus one is equal to four. That's why I V is called as four. Now let's jump to nine. Nine is I X. I'll tell you why. Okay, first write the numbers below one and ten. Similarly, with four, ten minus one is equal to nine. So, in summary, if numbers are same or in descending order, you should add. If ascending order, subtract. Next, we get to the two-digit numbers. Let's see if our formula works. What is x i? First, write the numbers below. Then one, because they are in descending order, we have to add ten plus one is equal to eleven. Similarly, for twelve and thirteen, the formula will work too. Let's give fourteen. Fifteen is x v because it's in descending order. We have to add. Plus five is equal to fifteen. Similarly, with sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen, we have to do the same method. Fourteen and nineteen are interesting. X I V is fourteen. Let me tell you why. So first, add the numbers below. Ten, one, five. Okay, is the same? No. Is this descending? No. Is this ascending? No. Now look at the two numbers which are from the right. They are one and five because it's ascending. We have to subtract five minus one is equal to four. Now you already know that x is equal to ten. Then because it's descending order, we just have to add ten plus four is equal to fourteen. Let's jump to nineteen. Nineteen is x i x. So first write the numbers below. Ten, one, and ten. Is the same? No. Is this descending? No. Is this ascending? No. So similarly, with the trick from fourteen, you have to do the same thing to x i x. Let's look at the two numbers from the right. One, ten. Because it's ascending, we have to minus it. Ten minus one is equal to nine. Now you already know that x is ten, 
So we just have to add because it is ascending. 10 plus 9 is equal to 19. Next, let's look at a bigger number. X L I V. Let's see if our formula works. Let's start from the right. Because it's ascending order 5 and 1, we have to subtract them. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Similarly, because 10 and 50 are in ascending order, we should subtract them also. 50 minus 10 is equal to 40. 40 and 4 are descending, so we just add 40 plus 4 is equal to 44. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I am 7 years old and this technique works for me easily. I hope it works for you all too. If you enjoyed this video, like, share and subscribe.